hello boys and girls. It's been a massive break since our last game against Sutton United. But we are back in action. Can you get much bigger than this one at the weekend? Away to Liverpool at Anfield. Huge game. Huge game for both of us. Come and join me as I try and preview this one. So as I said, it's Arsenal versus Liverpool this weekend at Anfield. It's one of them fixtures that you look out for during the course of the season. It's one of them fixtures that you get excited about. I am quite excited, although apprehensive and of course nervous based on our previous record. Now before I go into my predicted 1-11 to and preview of the game, I've got to announce my competition winner. Now as you will know over the last couple of games during my preview videos, um, I've been doing some accumulators with a new betting app called BetBall. Um, you've been asked to follow me, uh, see how my results are going, what kind of tips I'm doing, etc, etc. Um, and then see if we can win ourselves some money. Uh, now the competition that we were running on there was very simple. You follow me and I'm going to pick one of you at random to win £150. It really was that simple. I've now picked the winner. Drum roll. Hopefully that's a better drum than they let me in with the Emirates. So... The winner at £150 is Stevie28. Congratulations to you. £150 is on its way. The organisers from BetBall will get in contact with you directly um, and they will sort it out with you. So, yeah, congratulations, £150 for simply following me. Now, I know some of you will sit there and go, oh, why didn't he pick me? Why not me? Ah, you know how it is. I can't please everyone, can I? Well, I'm going to run another competition. Same again. You follow me. I'm going to give one of you £150. If you're already following me, you don't need to do anything. You are automatically in the draw. Anyone who else follows me from now, you also get included in the draw. We're going to give it a couple of weeks. Um, and again, just like this one, I will announce who the winner is and I will pick one at random. So best of luck and hopefully you get lucky next time. Now, in terms of my bets last weekend, uh, there was a couple that nearly came in. But one of them was a winner. Um, it wasn't nothing major. You would have won a little bit of money. But again, that's what the idea is. Win a little bit of money. So again, for this weekend, I'm going to pick my accumulator. And hopefully, I can win a little bit of money. With that said, let me know what you think of this selection for the weekend. Um, I actually think that Brighton are going to get back to winning ways. So I'm going to go for an away win there. A Newcastle United away win at Huddersfield Town. I'm going to go into the Premier League and I'm going to go for a Manchester United win at home. Can't see anything else. Uh, I'm also going to go with a Leicester home win. Look a bit revitalised now. Ranieri's gone. We're going to stick with just the four bets this week. Uh, and we're going to put a tenner on. £112, 65p return. Let's go. There we are. Lovely jubbly. Now, of course, once you've done your bet, you've got to remember to spin the wheel right down here at the bottom. Just click that there. Wheel comes up. This is a chance to multiply your bet. Let's have a little spin. Let's see where this one lands. Come on, give me a good one, baby. What we got? Way 20%. There we go. Um, let's tap to claim. And there we go. The bet has boosted up to £134.95. So there you have it. That's my selection for the weekend. Pretty straightforward. Hopefully it comes in good. If it doesn't, don't blame me. Now, with that out of the way, let's get into the preview of Liverpool versus Arsenal. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm edgy. I'm excited. Oh, it's, it's one of them games. You know, you look at Liverpool on Monday night, for example, um, and you think, ah, it's fine, easy. They're playing awful. But then you look at some of our performances. Bayern Munich, Watford, and you think, Jesus, Arsenal are playing awful. Liverpool have a tendency this season to play really poorly against the bottom sides, but then play really well against the top sides. In terms of Liverpool's record this season, they've played 26 games. Uh, they've won 14, they've drawn seven, and they've lost five. Now, one of their strongest points is goal scoring. They've scored 55 goals. That's a lot of goals in a Premier League season in 26 matches. But again, they're Achilles' heel is the goals against. They've conceded 33 goals. If we're going to stand a chance of beating them at the weekend, we've got to attack them with pace. What can I expect from Arsenal? Well, we've had the break. Um, we should be fine. Uh, I see pictures of the players all out, um, having an evening out this week. They went out bowling and whatnot. Um, 
So yeah, the kind of camaraderie between the players and whatnot should be there. There's a bit of banter and they should be ready for this game. I do not want to hear anything like mentally jaded. You know, they wasn't prepared. Listen, pff, if we lose this game, I don't want to hear none of that shit. Do it for yourselves. Do it for the fans. You know, there's a lot of us travelling up there to Anfield. So, you know, yeah, you kind of, you owe it to us. And you owe it to yourselves, like I said. So, we'll see what happens. Anyway, let's get into my predicted 1-11. to Again, like I've done with the last few weeks, I'm not going to go with the 1-11 to that I think Arsenal will go with. I'm going to go with the 1-11 to that I would pick. So, here we go. In gold, David Espina. I've got no problem with this guy. I think Petr Cech has been ropey. Yeah, Aspina conceded five in Bayern Munich. But listen, none of the goals were his fault. Let's be real about it. If it wasn't for David Aspina, we'd have lost that game about eight or nine. So, yeah, for me, David Aspina goes in goal. Right back, Hector Bellerin. Only right back we got, really. Don't like Jenkinson. The boot is a prick. Um, so, yeah, Hector Bellerin goes in at right back. Centre back, again, this is where I'm not too sure. If he's fit, Lauren Koscielny will come into the team as usual. He's a captain. Um, doesn't really act like a captain, but, you know, he is ours. So we just have to deal with it. Um, and alongside him will be Mustafi. Now, Mustafi, you need to pick up your performances, mate, because you've been a bit ropey since you've come back from injury. But let's give you the benefit of the doubt. We're going to put you in this one. We need the big-time player. We paid a lot of money for you. Time for you to perform. If Lauren Koscielny isn't fit... Um, I wouldn't have none of this nonsense of putting Gabriel in there. I would put Rob Holding in there. I've been impressed every time I've seen this boy. Haven't seen him put a foot wrong. Haven't seen him put a bad performance in. Um, and I feel that he's got the maturity um, and the ability to step in alongside Mustafi if Lauren Koscielny's not fit. So that's what I would go with. Lauren Koscielny, but if he's not fit, then Rob Holding. In at left back, I go with Kieran Gibbs. Simple reason being is that I would like his pace up against Mane. In the central midfield pairing, um, I'm going to start off with Granit Xhaka. Um, I think that he needs to go in that kind of defensive midfield role. Um, he's someone that can break up the play and release it very quickly. He needs to stay on his feet. He needs to be disciplined in this kind of game. Um, a lot of fans have been getting pissed off with his ill discipline, should we say. Chance for you to step up, Granite. Show what we paid the money for. So for me, Granite Shackle will go in there. In front of him, Alex Oxley chamberlain What can I say? I never thought I'd be saying this, but he's probably been one of our best players over the last month. Um, Arson, don't take him out of there, man. On the left-hand side of midfield, Danny Welbeck. Pff, got no excuses this week. We're not playing on a plastic pitch. Um, if he's not fit, why is he even in the squad? If he is fit... Give him his little 65, 70 minutes. Uh, on the right-hand side of midfield, now, this is where I was kind of, I'm in an R in and I'm going Walcott and, nah, you know what? I'm going all out and I'm going to put Lucas Perez there. Um, he's been brilliant every time I've seen him. So I feel with Welbeck one side, Lucas Perez the other. I feel that he can cause a lot of problems to Liverpool. In the number 10 role, I'm going to go with Mesut Ozil. Now, again, I don't know how many more times I have to say this, Mesut. Please, please, please. This is a massive game. Please stand up and be counted. Please. You owe it to everyone. You owe it to yourself as well. What did we pay £42 million for? We didn't pay that kind of money for you to just stroll around the pitch and piss off on holiday all the time. We paid a lot of money for you, and it's time to start showing... Why we paid that money? Let's see the Mesut Ozil that we know is there. Big game. Big chance for you to step up. So I'm going to stick Mesut Ozil in the number 10 role. Up front, Alexis Sanchez. Goes without saying. A lot of talks this week um, saying that he's made his mind up and he's going to leave Arsenal. Um, I'll be distraught, to be quite honest. I love the guy. Um, I think Alexis Sanchez is the kind of player that you need to be building your team around. Um, he is that world-class player that we've been crying out for. We move stadiums to sign world-class players, um, to attract the best, to be the best. And it feels like we're going into a circle, like the whole Fabregas, Van Persie type thing. We lose Alexis, I'm holding Arsene Wenger accountable for it. Nobody else. The guy's a winner, he wants to win. And if he doesn't feel like he's going to win it at Arsenal, then he's going to move away. And I will actually say fair play to him um, and wish him well. But yeah, it will absolutely destroy me. I'll be gutted. 
Um, so yeah, but anyway, back to the actual game at hand. He's still an Arsenal player right now. So Alexis Sanchez up front for me. So there you have it. My 1-11. to Again, this is not what I predict Arsenal will go with. This is what I want. If I was manager, this is my 1-11. to I feel it's full of pace. It's full of power. Um, it will cause Liverpool no end of problems. Come on, Arsenal. Listen to me at least once in your life, for Christ's sake. Um, yeah, so there you have it. My preview, my predicted 1-11. to um, Let me know what you think in the comments section below. If you haven't already, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. And I will see you lot up at Anfield on Saturday evening. This is a huge one. Huge one, Arsenal. I've been saying that quite a lot lately, and I? But, you know, it is huge. So, you know what's coming? Arsenal, do not let me down.